Cherry Topsider Charleston Race Week 2013, a regatta that is infamous for drawing in big one design fleets while offering perf, HPR, and other big boat one design classes offshore. Being situated in Charleston, South Carolina, attracts the top sailors from around the country and the Corinthians looking to mix it up with the pros. One of the reasons for the boom this regatta has experienced since its inception is the host location. The Charleston Harbor Resort and Marina has all of the 270 plus boats, the beach party, and accommodations in one place. Sperry Topsider is there with their shoes, Gill with their apparel to match whatever conditions Charleston dishes out, and North Sales infuses the weekend with coaching and seminars. Well-equipped sailors create an event full of stiff competition. Everyone likes to win, but even better is being successful against better and better boats. So the ever-increasing number of attendants at Sperry Topsider Charleston Race Week mirrors the weekend's building wind speeds. Sunday saw all of the boats leaving the dock in the calm seas, knowing that a gale warning had been issued Saturday night. Eight-foot swells coming in the mouth of the harbor and measurements of 25 to 30 knots pushing 40 abandoned the race courses and sent everyone to the safety ashore, save the pursuit classes who did get in a race. All of those boats in second place looking to take the lead on Sunday would have to settle for their two-day performance. One of the big head-turners of the truncated event was the 55-boat J70 class. Being easy to transport, tune, rig, and sail has brought a lot of different types of sailors together on one starting line. In such a fast-growing class, everyone was out there trying to set the precedence in their favor. Over eight races, Tim Healy and his crew aboard Helly Hansen stamped their mark on the fleet by only a few points over relative obscurity. The Vipers, a regular at this regatta, saw a familiar winner, Canadians Brad Boston and crew aboard Jackpot. The Melgus 20 and 24, also familiar fleets of this regatta, watched Alec Cutler and Bora Gulari duke it out for first. This regatta doubled as their Melgus 24 national championship, so stakes were high. Alec Cutler and Hedgehog ultimately took the prize. Michael Kiss, coming off a hugely successful winter series aboard Bakchio, crushed the 20 fleet. The Charleston Race Week trophy is annually awarded to the winner of the most competitive one design class. This year, it was awarded to J24 Superfecta, Chris Werner, and his Rochester, New York crew. In the perf classes, the most competitive class winner is awarded the Palmetto Cup. This year, Robin Team and his crew aboard J122 Teamwork was awarded this honor. Congratulations to all of the winners. For T2P TV, this is Ashley Love. You're watching T2P TV.